Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Auto Tutorials. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can transfer weights from one object to another object in Blender 2.82. So, let's get started. <music> Before I move forward in this tutorial, I'm going to show my overlays first by clicking on this button. So now I have my rig visible. I would like to show you how to transfer weight from the body of the character to the boot. Currently, if I move the, the leg around, you can see the boot is not moving with it. And to transfer the weight from one object to another object, you must make sure that other object as an amateur modifier. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. First, click on the object and then come to add modifier. Click on add modifier and then you look for amateur. You click on the amateur and from the amateur, you can define the rig you need the amateur to obey. Okay, that's one way. So I'm going to delete this and show you another way. The second way is by doing it via um auto paint waiting so i'm going to show you that now to do that you click on you click on the the object and then you hold down shift and click on the ring and then you go to the object mode and use the shortcut control p and you're going to see this option with automatic weights so i'm going to click on with automatic weights as soon as you do this Go back to the object mode, click on the object and then come here to the modifier. Then you can see the amateur right here and it says Noah Rig. Noah is the name of the character by the way. So when you move the character's feet now by going to post mode and you click on the rig and you move the feet, the boot goes along with the character rig. But there's a problem. You can see that uh, the boot is not deforming well. And that brings us to the next stage of this uh, tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can transfer the weight from the body to the boot. Okay, because this auto uh, paint weighting action did not really work well in this example. So now to do this, I'm going to go back to the original position. And then I'm going to click on the mesh that has the correct paint weight, which is the body. I'm going to hold down shift and then click on the boot, which is the mesh you want to transfer the correct paint weight to. And now you go to weight paint. When you click on weight paint, you click on weight tab, and then you come down to transfer weight. So as soon as you click on transfer weight, you have this uh, uh, grid out rectangular bar here, which is the, 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 the operation, the last operation to modify the last operation button. So just click on that. So when you click on that, you have uh, this information here. Look for source layer selection, then change the active layer. Now, take note, the source layer selection and the destination layers both have active layers. But as soon as you change the source layer selection from active layer to by name, automatically the destination layers also changes to all layers. So this is all you need to do. The weight has been transferred now. I'm going to go back to object mode, click on the, the rig, go back to post mode, then move the rig up the same way I did initially. And now you can see that the, um, the wrong deformation had been fixed in a way, but we still have an issue. The, the part of the boots is looking so rough here. It's not smooth enough. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can smoothen things out. To do this, I'll remain in this view so everything is clear to everybody. By selecting on the on the boot, I'm going to um, hide my overlays so that you can see the effect of what we're about to do next. The boot is still selected, by the way, as you can see from the overlay here, but I just want to hide it so that you can see the effect. Now, you go back to uh, weight paint, click on weight, and then click on smooth. So when you click on smooth, you can change the subset from active group to all groups 
that is you want to smooth all the vertex groups of that particular object that is selected so i'm going to change it to all groups and as soon as i do that you can see it has been well smoothed out here then you can also change your factor i currently have my factor as a 0 0.5 um, i'm going to change this to one which is the highest and then you can see it it got smoother so you can keep doing this iteration anytime you want to for example if i'm if i still want to increase my factor but i can't because the, the maximum value is one i can easily go back to the weight here and click on smooth so you can see the effect is still there it's still gonna keep iterating keep uh, smoothing your mesh so this is where i'm gonna call it a wrap i hope you've learned one or two things from this video don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel if you've not done so and until next time keep your creativity blending